Now, the sun likes being in Leo because in astrology, every sign relates to a planet and every planet relates to a sign. And the sun relates to the sign of Leo. I mean, this is the sun at her, at his glorious best. It's the summer sun that's, that's, that's unrelenting. It shows up every day. It's high in the sky. And, and, and the, it, we can feel the warmth as we can this evening. Um, we can see things. When the sun is out, there is an objective reality. This is a Leo kind of energy. The flowers are in full bloom. That's what Leo is about. It's the energy is apparent, obvious, on the surface. It's the gold energy that is not only the color of the sun, but it's gold as it appears here on earth. And to the ancients, the metals weren't representatives of the planets on earth. The metals were the planets on earth. And so gold becomes the sun, like silver the moon and mercury mercury and copper Venus and iron Mars and tin Jupiter and lead Saturn. Okay, so... We have the gold as the sun, and this is the same gold that's in the lion's mane. It's the, it's, it's the apparent outward manifestation of light in its beauty. We have the sun king. The sun is the center of our little party that we have going on here, our solar systemic party. And all the planets are running around the sun going, you are the god, you are the center, we bow down to you gravitationally because we can't escape. <laughs> so Leo has to do with the center as the, the center of the light of the energy. And in the physical body, the center is the heart. And Leo relates to the heart. Leo is heartfelt and it's love. It's the personal, playful, romantic love of I love you. That's what, it's a playful energy. Leo is the inner child, the outer child. Leo is that, that spontaneity of playfulness in a fixed and determined manner. Nothing's going to stop a kid from playing. Nothing's going to stop the sun from shining. Nothing's going to stop love from expressing itself.